Okay, I just erased, while the camera was off, I just erased uh, the data from the last problem. Uh, this one hopefully works out that the part B or scenario B is realized. Uh, this one is a same exact problem up to the very end. Uh, the very end presents some problems though for a lot of students. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is, this was, happens to be one off of an old test. I got a simply supported concrete beam. It's distributed loads are two and a half live, uh, one and a half dead over a 20 foot span. So if I look at it, I got a 20 foot span. I got two loads on it. A 2.5 live load. And I've got 1.5 dead load. Okay. And uh, let's see. Uh, actually, I'm going to make that a little bigger. I'm going to make this 1.25. Make this 1.75. Okay. And a beam has number three stirrups. It also has concrete of 60 and our steel of 60, concrete of four. It has a B of 12 and a D of 18. So a B of 12 and a D of 18. Of course, there's the stirrup and the rebar, of course, is right here. Okay, so we got a D of 18, a B of 12. Therefore, the maximum spacing is going to be D over two or nine inches. So when I get done calculating, if S max star is bigger than nine, we use nine inches. If it's smaller than nine, we've got some reduction to do. It's gonna take us a little bit of time there, okay? So let's do what we did before, figure out what V max is. Well, WU is 1.6 times 2.5 plus 1.2 times 1.75. That's V. So on your handout, I'm figuring out little WU. 1.2 dead, 1.6 live. So let's go 1.6 enter, uh, 2.5 times, uh, 1.2 enter, 1.75 times, plus 610. Okay, 610, uh, 58, okay, that looks pretty good. Big WU then equals little WU times the length. So I take that and I multiply it by 20. 122, V max is WU divided by two. There's my first number, 61 kips. D, 18 inches. So if this is 18 inches, this must be 18 inches. If the beam is 20 foot long, this must be 10 feet long. And 10 feet is 120 inches. 120 inches minus 18 gives me 102 inches. Now I'm in a position to do my similar triangles. Okay? Similar triangles. 61 is to 120 as VU is to 102. So 61 is to 120 as VU is to 102. So if I do the math, I got 61, 
Uh, 61, enter 102 times 120 divided. 5185. There's that number. So that fills in the top. Now, that was loading. We're done with loading. Now we've got concrete. Uh, we've got 4,000 PSI concrete. So that goes right here. We've got a width of 12 and a depth of 18. So if I take the square root of those guys, and let me do that, uh, 4,000 square root, uh, 0.75 times 2 times 12 times 18 times 2049. I got 20.4. So I'm going to put 20.49 here. Then I'm going to divide that by 2. And I got 10.25. Uh, Fills those. Now I'm going to take one quick step. 5VS, I already got. 51.85 minus 20.49. So I'm going to do that real quick. 51.85, 20.49 minus 31.36. Okay, that takes care of my chart. Now I want R. So I got what left? I got to make sure that I know where they're going. Make sure number three is big enough. And then make sure that my spacing falls within one of these two categories. So let's do the first first. First first is R. So once again, V max is to 120 as 10.25 is to X prime. So 61 is to 120 as V 10.25 uh, is to X prime. Do the math. You should have uh, clear it. 10.25 enter. 120 times 61 divided. 20.16. So if I put 20.16 here, and I subtract it from 120, I get 99.84. There's your first part. So from the left to the right, and from the right to the left, I have to go about 100 inches each way, and that's where my bars are gonna go. Okay, the next step was, is a number three good? If you use the formula on your handout, and that is, oh, that is letter L, it says take 50, multiply it by B, that's 12. Uh, multiply it by S max, which is D over 2. That's 9, or 18 over 2. And divide that by Fy, which is 60,000. I'm going to get an area required. That area required has to be matched up against two number threes. So let's see what we got here. Uh, I got 50. I've got 12, I've got nine, I've got 60 grand. Uh, I need 0 .09 square inches, two number threes. From the last problem, you should remember that a number three is 0.11 square inches. This is need, this is have. Good shape. 
Second criteria, whipped. So what do I have left? Is D over 2 good? So let's take a look at it. See if D over 2 is good. So we're going to take this and get rid of it. I'll leave that up there. How do I do it? I use the S max equation. Second page, top of it, is that equation. It says take AV, remember? Well, we have, don't use that 0 0.09, we have 0.22. We've got steel that's 60. We've got a D that is 18. And we got a 5VS is 31.36. Right there. Okay, do the math. See what you get. Uh, clear, 0 0.22, 60, 18, 31.36. When I did that math, I came out to seven and a half inches. Okay. Scenario A or B, is seven and a half inches bigger than nine? No. Is seven and a half inches less than nine? So that puts me in scenario B. So now, 7.58 is less than or equal to D over two, which is 18 over two, which is nine inches. Okay, this causes the problem. Okay, if you look at your handout, uh, when you get to uh, letter O, if the spacing figured in letter N is less than D over 2, use the value 5ES that drops it enough to have the above calculation work. Okay, what does that mean? Okay, this is the part that I have a trouble explaining and students have a problem understanding. So, let's take a look at it. What did I just say? I said, if I shrink this to 5ES prime, if I shrink it down, I move that top line down, I'm going to end up with a value right here that will make that 9 inches. So I need to know that number. So here's what you do. Uh, you got to figure this out. I'm going to give you the guide. You have to put a little time in on it. Okay, this says I'm going to use bars at seven and a half inches for a while, and then I'm going to go back to nine inches for the rest of the way. So what is that dimension? So let's take a look at it. In reality, this is the dimension, if you look at it. From here to here, I'm going to use seven and a half inches. From here to here, I'm going to use nine inch spacing. The trick is, what are those two numbers? I know those two numbers add up to 99.84. So if I can get one of those numbers, I've got them both. So I'm going to call this VU prime. So I got to figure out where VU prime is. If I know that, then I've got the two numbers I need. So let's do it. So how do I know 5VS prime? What I do is I use this equation. I put D over 2 over here. Because that's the maximum it can be for me to have this 9 inch spacing. I put the 0.22 just as it is, the 60, and the 18, and then I have phi Vs prime. Okay, that phi, phi Vs prime is this one it locates VU prime. So I'm going, to I'm going to calculate and figure out what that number is. I'm going to clear. 
I'm going to take 0.22, multiply it by 60, multiply it by 18, and I'm going to divide it by 9. 18 times 9 divided. 26.40. Okay, let me make sure that's right. I'm going to check that quick. Okay, I got 0 0.22 enter. 60 times 18 times and 9 divided. I like it. Okay, let's put him up there. I just calculated him. He's going right here. 26.4. That automatically gives me VU prime. All I have to do is take 20.49 and add 26.4, and I'm back up to VU prime. So let's do it. Uh, clear 20.49 and 26.4. 46.89. Okay, so there's VU prime. Okay, now similar triangles are back in our life. So hopefully you got this. Figure V, v 5 VS prime. Okay, what am I going to do? I'm going to do this. Uh, let me do this with this color. Okay, I'm going to put a line there for Z. Hopefully you can see if I take Z and subtract 20.16, I get the 9-inch spacing. If I get the 9-inch spacing and I subtract it from 99.84, I get the 7.5-inch spacing. So let's do it. What do we got there? Similar triangles. 61 is to 120 as 46.89 is to Z. Okay, once I have Z, I think I've got it whipped. So let's do it. Uh, what do I got? 46.89, enter 120 times 61 divided. 92.24. Boy, I don't like that one. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, Z equals 92.24 inches. Put him right here. If that's 92, then the 9-inch spacing right there is going to be that minus that. So if I take that and I subtract 2016, I get 70, 72.08. 